morning. Good morning. Okay, I see a lot of energy. So I'm thrilled to have you all here. So day four. Today, we have a lot of interesting programs. Let's look at some of this stuff. We have almost 560 people coming across multiple places. 560 people. And as you all know, we had to close the registrations before the conference. And we have to say no to sorry to a lot of people because we could not accommodate more people. And in fact, if you look at the workshops, it's already basically it's full. We can't handle more workshops uh, with more people. And if you look at submissions, right, we got 144 submissions for the talks. 144 submissions. And it was so hard to curate all those 144 submissions. Every, most of them are really, really good. This time, the quality of the talks are really, really, really good. We had to select 35 talks out of that. And we have 70 speakers this year, 70 speakers. If you look at the theme, transformation, and all the talks are pretty relevant to the current industry, what is required for UX. If you look at the speakers, right, this is truly international conference. So we have speakers from India, USA, Bulgaria, Canada, Australia, and you have from Germany and Singapore. So these speakers are getting their wisdom and knowledge and sharing with all of you, right? So think about this, like, you know, four days, so we are listening to all these people who are doing work from years and putting all their talent, putting all their knowledge into these talks and sharing you all the knowledge. So what I would suggest and recommend all of the fellow designers that make use of this time, learn. Because if you don't learn in UX, UX is drastically changing field, right? Even though our design fundamentals are same, but the technologies are changing. A lot of disruption happening in the industry. We have to upgrade ourselves all the time. If we need to unskill and reskill. If we don't unskill and reskill and learn, we will get irrelevant into the industry, today's industry. Yeah, it, actually it's a great pleasure to be a part of the UX India 2017. So we have gained a lot of knowledge and we have had a lot of insights from different speakers from around the globe. And uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, we would be able to uh, elevate our skills mm -hmm. by participating in this. So thanks. Thank you very much for organizing this kind of very fruitful event. Thank you. Thank you. So how many of you are from Sri Lanka? Actually, uh, we, 12 people came from there. 12 people, yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Big applause for these guys coming all the way. Actually, uh, we are not, not, not from the UX designers. We are actually software designers, most, most of us, and uh, some uh, uh, business system analytics. So in Sri Lanka, there are not much uh, in this uh, UX field. So mm -hmm. we are gain a lot from this context. So in our company, there are more, more of this uh, design concept stuff we have planning to go on. So we have gathered a lot of knowledge from this. Thank you for cool. organizing. Yeah. Thank you. Can we do something in a, at our region? Maybe I'll, Abai, right? Yeah. So what do you think? Yeah, I come from Chandigarh. So we would love to have uh, UX India somewhere close. If not in Chandigarh, maybe no good gown. <laughs> oh, not in Chandigarh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So, what do you think we should come there? So, this is a uh, design is becoming big uh, in northern in India. Uh, you especially UX design. So, okay. people are taking it seriously. Uh -huh. 
uh-huh. and a lot of companies are coming in and they're setting up offices. Okay. We have an IT park, a SCZ in Chandigarh. Mm-hmm. A lot of big names are setting offices there and UX design. It's a high, high time for UX design. Hi. Um, I've been attending for the last two years and it's been, you know, waiting for the next year also. Mm-hmm. Actually, you know, getting to know with many people and, you know, and the uh, speakers from across the globe. And it's truly, you know, um, a great knowledge sharing session. It's a great thing that you're organizing it also. Great. Hands off. So, design startup. This is one of our flagship program. So, this is basically to encourage you all to become a design entrepreneurs, to learn about what makes it make for you to become a design entrepreneur. Or maybe there, there are people in the panel who are from, like, you know, who became VCs, who became investors, who became entrepreneurs and who are actually starting their own startups. This is one more new, this year we launched this program called Emerging Tech and UX. The main intention of this is because of this transformation, we need to be relevant in the industry, okay? This panel, we brought design leaders and also like, you know, from the engineering leaders to share what it needs to be, we need to do to improve our skill transformation to become more relevant. Again. This program you all know, Women in Design, we strongly believe and we want to promote women leaders in India. Okay? We have very few women leaders in India and we want to continue this program and promote more, more dynamic women leaders who can actually lead this country. So this program helps you to actually grow in terms of like, you know, there is a, all the thought leaders in the industry, this is an unconference people just randomly pick and you can just ask whatever question you want. Even if it's a dumb question, you can just simply go and ask. Do I need to take a manager role or do you want to be an individual contributor? Or maybe like, you know, there were some questions in terms of something like, you know, uh, do, is it like good idea to do freelancing? Or maybe like I'm a visual designer, do I need to get into research? So some of this, so that like, you know, the experienced people will directly help them, guiding them. And also like, you know, we are always create this atmosphere and culture that, you know, anyone can network with anyone and actually ask them or like take some suggestions from them. And this is one more thing which we are doing from years, which is called UX focused arts. So, so we have around 302 organizations listed as part of this. What we are doing is, people who are coming to this conference from various companies, we are adding that particular companies as UX focused organization. Because uh, this is the data we have, and we think they are really, really uh, coming here to learn new technologies and also the new design methodologies and research methodologies. Coming to this, this is UX Square. So you see some of the stalls outside, right? We are bringing them, we are asking organization to come here. There is a lot of talent here. You can actually, you can see the job boards outside and people can actually uh, get applied to that particular jobs. And also, uh, we are creating this environment where actually there are a lot of managers here, design leaders here. You can actually go and network with them and figure out like, you know, if something excites you. So this is again a flagship program which we are promoting <laughs> education, design education in India. IA Fusion. So what we are trying to do every year is bringing people who represent academia and also a little bit of students and also industry. So this panel, is in the panel discussion, will actually talk about the relevance of like the design education is design, uh, uh, design education, what part is consumable to the industry or industry talks about what is required for the industry from, from today's generation perspective. This is again, we are repeating this program. It was, we started last year and this got really, really, really successful. UX in India, it's more like, you know, think about like, you know, boost with Bapu. <laughs> Just like, so we are identifying one thought leader who has really, really, really contributed to the design community in India, or didn't did some something remarkable stuff to the country. We are inviting the thought leaders and actually doing one. They are like learning from them. So, 
So we have so this year, we yeah, have la I think Professor Nathkarni sir yeah. and also let me, this is. Let me. So last year we had a conversation with uh, Anne Bond, he is a Dutch entrepreneur. He was the guy first time brought usability to India. So he actually established uh, his company Bond ERP, I don't know how many of you know it, it was actually one, you know, a very big competitor to SAP. So he actually established offshore in Hyderabad. So he brought in that term usability to India. So he actually, we invited him last year when the conference happened in Western Hyderabad. So we had a chat with him. So he actually, like think about like, it was almost like 96, 98. That was the time he was thinking about usability for his products. So again, this year we have the great leader Professor Sudhakar Nadkarni. So we're going to have a, a conversation with him. So what I would like to do is, I, I actually is my professor, I studied with him. I would like to have questions. If you have any questions, uh, you can actually message to that number. You know, we can actually ask this question while the discussion is happening. I'll try to see if possible, we can actually hand over the mic because the time is also very short. So. Yeah. If you guys can do that, you know we can, we can take the question and ask him directly. And and also like in the in the registration desk, you have Professor Sir's uh, uh, note uh, book uh, <coughs> publication, and you can buy that publication. Yeah, uh, Design and Journey must have seen um, a wonderful publication on Professor Nathkarni's life and also how he has influenced design uh, in India. So that's a great book. If you are, uh, I think some of you already bought it. I'm just uh, you know, informing you. All right. So again, this year we are launching this interesting program called Design Quadrant. You know what Design Quadrant means? We thought there is a big gap in the industry right now, right from like you know industry, even academia, and also from the professionals' perspective. So. Industry don't have clarity, many of the industry, for example, many of the software companies don't know how much to pay for a designer. And the designers also know that how much you value, how much, what, what is that you require, what is the salary you require. And we want to benchmark this. So what we did is we launched this program, this is a survey, but this is not just a salary survey, it's beyond salary survey. We were looking at various patterns to understand various uh, various things like you know what matters for a designer for example what is the design happiness index or basically what is designer what is designer is looking at salary or good work or does they want to look at work for a startup or a design agency or what what is the factors which actually like you know motivating designers let's look at that results today and yeah. uh, we got yeah. 515 so participants who we would like to publish you know, a report complete comprehensive report but today we want to share only insights of it so because we were actually uh, you know, requesting all of you to take the survey actually we closed it and then we felt that the time to develop you know to present it to you is not that enough so very interesting insights but we wanted to share very couple of you know few uh, interesting insights but we want to publish the report very soon yeah. yeah. So and also we want to repeat this regularly so that we have this data and patterns and looking at various patterns so we understand yeah. over a period of time we get more realistic more numbers. Maybe like you know only few set of people like tomorrow let's say if data set grows to 5,000, 10,000, 15,000. So we get accurate results and people get clarity and maybe like you know we'll make this whole report public in the whole PDF report and this will be helpful for definitely for the for you all and also for the industry for the agencies and everyone all right and this is again you all know that yesterday we were looking at this design x awards which we introduced this year we thought there is a need to honor the good work right so that was the intention we launched this uh, design x awards and we try to make this awards as transparent as possible. So that's one thing like, you know, we created some rules for ourselves as part of the UX India team. We said none of our UX India 
core team or the, any of our team will be part of this jury or part of this. We will be just uh, helping in planning these, selecting all this, but we are not part of this. And <coughs> we have a great online jury, so almost eight international speakers. So we want to make it more international, so that's the reason we are pulling a lot of very interesting people. If you go into the website and see who are the jury, online jury. So <coughs> we got around, for the first time when we introduced this, 113 entries. 113 entries is pretty good. We got 113 uh, entries. And so we have an online jury which got selected. And these are the categories we'll be having. One is enterprise startups, because we have maybe like, you know, next time we might actually separate these enterprises and startups separately so we get more entries. Design agencies, student category. So these are the three different categories. And if this side, if you look at this, we have three different types of award categories. Gold, silver, and people choice. So coming to the on-site jury, right? So we have an uh, online jury which actually shortlisted. I want to take a uh, sound bite <laughs> from Mario. So uh, we randomly picked some of our uh, respected speakers as part of jury. And I think let's keep this energy in the evening. Let's look at like, you know, interesting stuff. Uh, we still did not see like, you know, who is the winner. So Mario, I'm excited to see. And looking forward for the Design X Awards. And guys, this is our UX India handle for this conference. And you can tweet using this particular handle. And you know what? There are some good goodies. There is a tweet about. OK, keep tweeting it. So some of our volunteers will be curating all those tweets. And you will be winning some exciting awards. Yeah. So like uh, most uh, valuable tweet. It's difficult to decide, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you can say it created a good conversation. That would be the best way to put it. The tweet it kind of created good conversations. So that could be uh, one award. And uh, two, the maximum number of tweets, one tweet. Like you can actually say, I think last year we had 350 tweets, somebody did it. Yeah. You know, so you can actually see who has done more number of tweets and then we can decide two of them and then give the awards. And apart from, uh, we have Adobe, uh, is giving, uh, yesterday they gave one cloud license to one person, but we thought, instead of giving it yesterday, we thought of uh, bunching all the awards to the end of the day. So they are going to give one other license today. It's worth uh, 40,000. And uh, many other awards, like for DesignX, Sketch is providing all the winners, one license, and Proto is providing, uh, what is that called, freelancer, license uh, for all the winners. And for all the participants, Proto is also providing a uh, one year license. And uh, Loop 11 is also giving one, one year license. And Axure also giving four licenses. We also uh, uh, announced for a tweet one. And also, also we have a best talk. Yesterday I think we have hectic day, right? So, so many talks and you guys have rated. So, we have already got the person, his Immediately, you know, you don't know controversy on that <laughs> when you announce that. So, uh, he was going to get another uh, award uh, license or something like that. We have to, we have seen that, we have to decide that. Yeah. Yeah. So, too many awards and goodies are going to happen at the end of the day. Uh, and yeah. before, before I step down, basically, we cannot forget our sponsors. Maybe can you add, like, Talk about a little bit yeah, about definitely. sponsors, Papu. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so we thank again. Of course, we're going to thank at the end of the conference, but again, we thank our sponsors who has been the major support. Um, yeah, I think anyway, we're going to do that, honors at the end of the conference. Again, we want to mention that Use Designs and Adobe are the premier uh, sponsors for the conference, and we also have Aitna Health and uh, sort of Tiger Spike. Uh, Kent University, they're all uh, silver sponsors. Thank you so much, guys. Because of your support, we were able to manage the show for long years. And we'd like to have your support again.